So I was doing a PhD on the impact of, of the Folsoma Grandis, uh, so we call in, in, uh, en français uh, le grand gecko vert de Madagascar. So what we were doing in Mauritius, uh, we were just trying to see the impact of this big gecko on the small endemics we have in Mauritius. So we took, like, we took some sites where the endemic and the invasive, uh, le gros gecko de Madagascar was present and in other sites where it was not present. And then we have seen, we've seen that, um, that it was really drastic. So wherever you had the big gecko from Madagascar, uh, there was, uh, there was a, uh, like a decrease or a decline of about 90%. And also in some sites, it completely disappeared, so got extinct. And, uh, and then we've seen that in, uh, in, in Mauritius, but right now, because uh, in Réunion, we have the same problem. So the, 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 the gros gecko de, Ma, de Madagascar, so the big gecko from Madagascar is also present here. And we, we fear for the worst because uh, in the sense that uh, both geckos, the endemic geckos from Mauritius and the gecko from here, they are very similar in terms of behavior and, and in terms of what they eat, they're quite similar. So if we have a big gecko and the small gecko, the endemic geckos from Réunion, I fear, again, I fear for the worst, so I give you um, like, like 10 years or 20 years um, if we have both of them in the same place, the endemic is going to be gone for sure. So we just need to take really like once we see the gecko, the big one, and the endemic together, we need to act.